nose is actually getting pretty good. That just made me really happy. Okay, so I will go ahead and read through the notes with you. Okay, so we have three top notes and uh, I did not get any other, my, other of my guesses correct. The only thing I got correct was the quins. So in the top notes we have quins.
Anyway, they say I thought it was similar to light blue and I was disappointed. I only smell lemon and cedar in light blue. Now that I've given it time to macerate, it is lovely. Slightly creamy, but not lactonic. Citrus floral. I like it much better than light blue. Appropriate for all functions and all times. Longevity is average, about four hours on skin. Low sillage. Okay. Somebody who loves this says, Stash Privé does smell like it was inspired. Ballet. Inspired by ballet, I think. It is woody, but sage and it is woody, but sage and quince really mixes together with other, the other notes and creates a very modern fragrance. Beautiful and one of her best. Alright. Somebody says, this is the kind of perfume you wear when you don't have plans. I don't get the hate that it receives from people knowing they only paid $8 for it. It's a bright, fresh, woody floral. Great for after shower as it smells very clean. It reminds me of Versace Versants, but three or four days after you sprayed it on a scarf or coat, every time I've worn it, it's been complimented. Overall, it's a subtle but really nice light fragrance. I totally agree. I think this is very likable. I think it's very likable, very nice. Um, nothing insane. I don't think I'm going to keep it myself, but it's nice. It's fruity. Um, it's a little bit woody, a little aromatic. It's nice. Let's find somebody who does not like this and see what they have to say. Somebody says, um, smells like scents of high-end dryer sheets. It's 